going on everyone welcome back to another episode of max level video games where me shane show you guys the ins the outs and all abouts of owning your own retro video game store i got like six projects going on and hopefully i get them all done the biggest one is well, I gotta edit this YouTube video so you guys can watch. Some repair. And I don't know what else Nick's going on. Uh, anything that this is freaking nail polish and then someone put a clear coat over that. Nah, it doesn't. Nail polish usually when you go like this comes apart. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you, Not if you put a clear coat over it. There's no clear coat. It doesn't feel like it. That's straight up bumpy. I don't know, dude. Uh, no, we're doing a pin adjustment on this that's top nail loader. Polish, bro. That's that's high end, high grade nail polish. Okay. <laughs> do adjustment on that, and then we're going to uh, do some other stuff. Beautiful donated PlayStation Four. It's in. Uh, donated. Yeah, he just left it here. Uh, but can say, you see what's they wrong say, with they it? Say it was donated. Uh, he left. What do you mean, can I see? Can you see what's wrong with it? I know it's been open. That's true. Can you guys see what's wrong with it? HDMI port, possibly? Can you see? Yeah, it doesn't have an Can HDMI. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, the HDMI's gone. It's just gone. It's just ripped out. That's, that's and it has been opened. So likelihood inside of it probably looks pretty, uh, I would say perfect. Right in. Wee stuff. We love wee stuff. Don't we, Mel? Yep. What, what? So technically, this controller is doing the opposite of drifting. Look at watch. It, it gets stuck at a certain spot up here. But when I flick it, it snaps back, right? But if you press it, it gets but stuck. But like, I, I was pushing down on the thumbstick and then moving it up, and it like gets stuck right in there in like the hmm. three area. Nice. Um... What I'm thinking is it's just having a hard time coming back to center. I think it's not it's not I a think stick I could, replacement, but I just a cleaning. Just, just lube it real good. Lube it. Lube her up. We are the Jiffy Lube of controllers. Wink, wink. I'm not super great at winking, guys. Gotta go to Goodwill. Gotta go score some games. Bye bye. You got a game, bro? For Goodwill, let's go. Right. Score some games. Got the deets, the downloads. Let's go. Cause it's been a while since we've actually purchased some games. We've bought a little bit, but nothing decent when it comes to a lot. So hopefully everything's not gone by the time we get there, which has only been a few minutes. But uh, maybe we'll come out with some good stuff. Here we go. Let's see. I think we got at Goodwill today. Two copies of Wii Sports Resort. Kirby's Rainbow Curse. Two Mario Olympics, Sealed Last of Us, Terraria, some Mafia. Some decent stuff, not too bad. Nick's working on his favorite controller ever. Not the 360. 2DS. Definitely uh, not in great condition buy a screen for that. We just found a fox and we don't know where it came from. <laughs> that's not a that's not a bird. The dragon's cool. <laughs> that is just a bunch of music. Or noise. That's not even music. That's a <laughs> yeah, bunch of noise. It, you call it music. You call it music. That is a bunch of noise. You call it music. Okay, I have to get closer to hear the actual beat. You just have a recreation to understand it. Oh, is that what it is? Let me recreation my way over here. It was you that put the fox out there. Yeah. All right, we were looking. I was like, where'd the fox come it's from? Because when I was sitting there and I was like uh, looking at the chart, I looked it down and saw the origami. I was like, oh yeah, I remember I have a fox in the car. An origami fox, just in your car. Yeah. Why not? Because there's this chick who works at the after school program and she's like really good at making origami. <laughs> and she made that fox. She made a bunch of them. But uh, I traded her a picture of a Jigglypuff for the, the fox. Nice. 
Now it's just a part of our origami. Never played Okami. I know you don't have a Wii. There is a PS2 version. No, I do have a Wii. Do you have a Wii? Yeah. Um, do you? I would play. Man? So it's a it's it's a uh, action game, kind of like Zelda. Okay. Um, and you get spe special like upgrades and stuff. Honestly, this is a great game if you guys haven't played it. Okami. There's also an HD version on I think Xbox One, PS4. Everything else that's going into stock right now, loose copy of Zelda the Twilight Princess, Pokemon Channel, Rampage, Crazy Taxi, some PS1, PS2, Yu-Gi-Oh! PlayStation 3, and one PlayStation. We got some more trading, a bunch of Wii stuff that's coming in, Mad World, Mortal Kombat. This is some of the better stuff right here. Kirby, Super Mario, reprinted cover art. Two copies of Wii Sports Resort, House of the Dead Overkill. We got a disc only copy of Wind Waker HD, Kirby Rainbow Curse. Endless Ocean, this one's a surprise, 18 bucks. Let me know in the comments below, is this any good? Mel says the only reason this is good is because there's dumb dolphins on the front. Hate Mel hates dolphins. She calls them the sexual predators of the sea. Exactly. Sharks are better. Sharks are better, according to Mel. No joke. We're not making. She's right there, putting stuff away. She's telling me. She's saying sharks are better. Dolphins are the creeps of the ocean. The creeps of the ocean. They need to have their own. Uh, website so a regular came in and told me about lunar and apparently there's at least three variant types three to four variant types of lunar one and lunar two apparently disc one and disc two have different cover arts so if you're into playstation fantasy games apparently you gotta buy at least three four different copies of lunar one to get the whole entire variant collection yeah i'm not doing that so uh, i'm just keeping one but that was a little tidbit luckily i'm not really collecting for playstation games that much so you know the, the more you know we got a huge switch lock that just came in a bunch of great titles switch light right there our glass guys are here nick's here um, we're probably not gonna be able to get these stickers off, huh? I thought they were swinging these guys. They are. Alright, we just picked up a lot. Tan. This, this 60 is like an uncommon white edition, Xbox 360S. Unfortunately, has no hard drive. And, I don't know if something's missing here or not, but, it's an uncommon color. It has an external hard drive because it has no internal hard drive. Um, it's a decent looking color. I like it. Pretty clean. Original controller, no back. E, backwards compatible. So we're yeah, getting... You yeah, don't even know if like the Xboxes are the same inside. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> we're debating whether or not we're going to do a shell swap with this Xbox or just clean it up. It doesn't really need a shell swap. Though. It doesn't really need a shell swap. It's not busted. So we're probably just going to leave it as it's 64. That 64 I was looking at, it's blasphemy. Is it fake? Hmm. How dare they? What is How that? dare they? It also, I would do fair condition on it because it does have a chip. No, but... You don't see it? Oh. Yeah. It's, you know, inevitable. You'll eventually run across these. How great am I? What? Oh, God. <laughs> Get it out of here. Mario Kart 64? Okay, so we're gonna look up, I think this is one of their bundles. That's pure heresy, bro. I'm pretty sure it's one of their bundles. God, why do they have so many bundles? Because they're gross, dude. 
but now <laughs> they're they're just standard is 114 price wise for one controller and that's not even click on that one see if they have different conditions or something on it they got so many bundles on here it's crazy what do we get hdmi oh it actually has oh that. it yeah because you can add the hdmi adapter oh for 25 bucks substitute, or, an substitute an original controller for an additional 20 bucks that is okay so the question is is this a refurbished it says refurbished but what kind of condition is this in doesn't say the condition it doesn't say condition it just says refurbished Oh, there's a question mark. All refurbished products go through a refurbish. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. One year warranty. During the refurbish, it doesn't say what kind of condition it's in. Well, is it a gamble for 114 bucks? Oh, well, no, 120, 34 bucks. Well, yeah. So you, you save original. 35, but you have to buy a controller that's original. So you're telling me that R64s are almost $40 cheaper than DK Oldies? That's not including shipping and tax or whatever else. Yes. And what, uh, what, uh, what products aren't included. Like, because we include the hookups, the controllers. Oh, uh, the Power Navy. I think you can buy some on here without them, but I've never But we looked. don't sell ours without a jumper pack either. Does it include the jumper pack? The standard jumper pack, not the expansion pack. It should. It does say it includes a jumper, jumper pack, pack, one gray replica, and 64 controller. It's a replica? It's not even a... Replica. It's not even a... Oh, you have yeah. to pay additional... You have to pay, you have to pay additional 20 bucks for an OG controller. Now, DK oldies, bro. Are you for real? See if they had different conditions on here, because you have no clue what kind of condition you're getting by you guys, but I like to know what the hell I'm buying. DK oldies is, gets a bad rap, like... Not only is that... Not just that. This is... So, in my opinion, this is some fishy stuff to play on the consumers. It's grossly overpriced. You're not even telling the person the condition of the products they're getting. And on top of that, all of the products in the bundle are not OEM. Mm -hmm. So, like, I guess for, like, a person who doesn't know shit about, like, manufacturing or, like, the products in question, I mean, is it fair game? Or is... is Like, to me, that's predatory. It is. It's, I think it's it is. It's super predatory. Like, I, if I'm buying something and it's a 64, I expect everything that comes with it to be OEM. Because, like, if the console's OEM... Yeah, but see... You, more than you, and if I'm paying more than $100, this is why anyone, any of you guys watching, I'm not saying, like, don't buy from DK Oldies, but I'm saying uh, you're you going to buy it from us. You could look at... Go to their website, go to our website, and do the comp yourself. It's grossly overpriced on their website it's really sad we're not trying to dishonor any company i'm just saying we have price right now and good we're gonna drop it down anyways because that chip right there that that right there we sell them for 100 bucks that's with an oem controller preferably av and power supply oem no, another thing too is that like we've gotten stuff that had DK Oldies stickers on it that I ended up having to do repairs on that they like they bought supposedly refurbished and customers have brought it into us like hey yo this doesn't work and we have, we have and like I'm sense. not I'm not hating on anyone over there I'm just it bothers me that you got that these things are listed as refurbished and then it shows up over here on my desk and I'm the person working on it actually refurbishing it so DK and boom, just like that, fair condition, eighty nine ninety nine, And you get an OEM controller. Hey, no did you tell me we're not charging more for a controller? Well, because Why is were, that? When you originally bought a 64, you got it with his original controller. We also know how to get controllers. We're not running out anytime soon, are we? Nick, you got plenty of controllers, don't you? Yeah. I think I have like two totes full of OEM controllers. I would say that like a solid fraction of them is nasty looking, but we use those for parts to fix our other controllers that are like nicer looking, right? And if then like, if we get a console that's in rough condition, we tell people it's in rough condition and then we list it with the controller that's also in rough condition. So like the entire bundle 
is he in poor condition if it's listed as poor? Or if we just right? have a good condition controller or something. Yeah, or if just... we have something in good condition, we list it with other products that are in good condition. We say the entire bundle is, you know, it's good, it's fair, it's poor. But, like, we're not charging people for OEM products because I think it goes without saying that if you sell a bundle that's OEM, the entire bundle should be OEM, right? Right? We try. We try. At least, like, I think the only thing that we don't, that we kind of skimp out on is the cords. But it's like, who cares about cords as long as the damn thing's working? But, either, because we have now started to get OEM yeah, cords and, and power I know, supplies. No, but that's what I'm saying is that, like, previously that was, like, the only thing that we were skimping yeah. out on. But, like, but, like, I feel like holding ourselves to, like, a higher standard as far as, like, putting OEM products on the shelves, it matters, dude. And people, and you can tell the difference. Like, I have third, they suck. Yep, the, the third-party controllers suck. We got OEM AV cables, OEM power supplies for 64 and GameCube. I'll tell you as far as 64 controllers. I bought a bunch of 64 controllers. I, I, yeah, if we sold a bunch more, we'll get more. Might even consider that that little chip isn't enough to call it fair, and the condition is and pricing it. I, you know, to each their own. As soon as we see a piece of plastic missing, we just drop down the price. We're gonna run out of 64s anytime soon, and if we sold all of our 64s day, we'll get more. Let's double check. Yep, that AV cable is third party, and the power supply is third party. What's that? Nintendo. Yeah, I'm for my food. Ooh, look at that. There's Nintendo. Still gotta clean it up. It does work. We've already tested it. Uh, blow it out, you know. Get rid of the power supply and the AV cables. We don't need them. What's up and get it in stock. Peace. If you want, if you want, you just message us on the website, fullvideogames.com. All the PS2 we just got in the stock. Coming out soon. Now, it's available now on the website, maximumvideogames.com. Oh, you know. I like the setup. You've got to raise it up so you don't have to like try to hold it in place. I like it.